Welcome to the Crazy Joe Show Video Chronicles. I'm Crazy Joe and you're not. And I'm having a good hair day video. So when we have a good hair day, we're here doing the video. You know, I was just thinking, this fucking Dirk Dickwad, he's such a he's such a piece of shit because he's not even a human fucking being. He's a fucking dirtbag loser, and he fucking with the wrong guy. Because I'll tear his fucking ass from here to fucking his fucking loser state of Iowa. I would fucking just like bitch slap the fucking shit out of him and slap the taste out of his mouth. Because this kid, he, you know, he's, I know what he's thinking. Oh, I I got Joe. I I got, I, I he's, I, I got him renting space and. You know, in his mind over me, it's just not true. It's it's that I just think it's so mentally retarded of this kid who laughs at everything I do, makes fun of everything I say and do. He's like a fucking monkey, you know. Throw him a fucking banana, this guy. But here's what really gets me. This uh, camera here, I could turn this around and I can show not just you people, but this fucking scumbag, prick, cocksucker, piece of dog shit, poor excuse for a fucking human being, little punk ass bitch. Um, I could turn this camera around right now, put on my overhead lights. And show people, uh, including the, the, the fucking dirt bag out there, that I have a real studio. Matt saw my studio, but I'm not even going to drag his name into this. And I could just turn this camera around and show my enormous fucking million dollar studio. It's not really a million dollars, but it sure looks it to me, and it's great, and I love it. And I've done plenty of shows on it when I had my run and uh, doing Talk Radio X and uh, then doing the uh, Crazy Joe show as an independent. The point is, I could turn this camera around right now. And it just came to me like, why should I prove myself to a dirtbag, lying piece of dog shit, scumbag of the, f I mean, my son out there, my illegitimate bastard son, Dirk, dirtbag, crack addict, Dirk, dirtbag loser. <laughs> Fuck. My illegitimate bastard child out there. It's be It's beneath me. I don't need to prove myself to a to a a, 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 a scum lying subhumanoid piece of dog shit like him or anybody really for that matter whether it's him or you know Richardson or uh, Tony out there for Philadelphia Tony out there fat Tony would well, look like he weighs like three thousand fucking pounds another fat pig well what other fat pig is there on you know, I don't need to prove myself to losers. People that never supported me, who jumped on my ass, accused me of being a racist and anti-Semitic and all that stupid shit. Because these people are cop-outs. They have nothing better to do, nothing better to say. They're just a bunch of fucking scumbags. They're miserable cocksuckers. Everybody thinks I'm miserable. No. I, I'm I'm I was miserable for the last nine to ten months living at this other place, but I'm miserable now, and um, I'm very content. COVID nineteen is a is a serious problem. It's affecting a lot of people. The spread is just incredible. It seems that everybody I talk to these are not friends of mine. These are more like business associates, but. People that I talk to, they're all coming down with, with, with COVID. I came down with it too. And uh, I just got out of quarantine uh, 48 hours ago. 
And, uh, you know, but uh, Matt, the only thing that Matt likes about me is that I am uh, support vaccination. But I don't want to talk about that. I want to talk about you dirtbags out there, like dirt dickwad, douchebag, fucking loser. I hate all of yous. I don't like none of yous. Uh, but you are trained puppets. You no, I haven't had anybody say anything bad about me because they know that they'll get fucking blocked. And, um, uh, you could call it a, a form of censorship, and why not? Because it's my fucking page. So we're going to run things my way, not your way. And uh, everybody seems to... The word has gotten out that Joe will block you. And I will block you on every social media I can. And I've done a very good job of it. I, ha I haven't got everyone yet, including Dirt Dickwad. But he probably has a boyfriend out there that, you know, submits my video to him. And that's how he sees it. Because I know I blocked that motherfucker. But I'm not going to get into a discussion over technical bullshit. Because that's not what I'm into. I'm just so happy and content. I live in a beautiful place. Um, I'm, I'm very happy here. And a happy Joe means a successful show. I'm not picking my nose. I have a scratch. See, this is the problem with this fucking scumbag weasel fuckface. You have to answer for everything that you do. Or else he makes fun of it. He's just like like a little punk in, in the in the in the fourth grade. You know, some people just haven't grown up yet. I, I'm not saying I'm grown up. I love to goof around it. But I'm an adult. He's a child. And he hasn't reached puberty yet, the way he fucking uh conducts himself, because he's a fucking loser. And everybody else out here, all my 14 subscribers, they're all losers too, because I know they don't support me. They're just here to spy on me, to stalk me like uh, dirt, dirt bag thinks he's doing. He's actually making himself look like a fucking asshole. Um, but I guess it doesn't matter to you people because you're assholes too, just like he is. So, you know, assholes are not going to impress other assholes. But the, the people out there who are really sharp like me, they're, they don't, they're not here. They don't exist. You know, my video only serves scumbag, low life, waste of life, losers of, of society. And uh, that's what social media is. All the losers of society wind up here on social fucking media like Dirt Dickwad and all the other fucking jerk offs, the Jared Slimebag show and the Richardson show, and all these fucking dirtbags that I had to meet because of Matt. I'm not blaming Matt, but uh, all these jerk-offs came out of the woodwork and started with their bullshit. Um, like I said, fuck you. You ain't gonna do nothing to me. You, uh, you know, these fucking people turned me into face crap. I served 120 days. But that's not going to happen on the Crazy Joe show. No siree. I'm going to say what I want. When I want to say it. And let me tell you something. Not going to be the first show. Probably be the second show. I'm going to sing a little melody of the N-word. And I'm going to use it so much. That 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 dirt dickwad. And all his little fucking loser boyfriends. And the Richardsons. And the slime bags of the world. And all these fucking douchebag, leftist, liberal assholes, they're going to turn white. They might even go unconscious. Because we're going to say the N-word so many times. Oh, Jesus, now I spoiled the surprise. Oh, well, well, we'll see what happens. 